boys welcome to code bashers guys in this particular video i will be discussing the today's coding question so these coding questions were asked in today's accenture exam that happened on 28th august 2024 so total two coding questions i will be discussing in this particular video so make sure that you are watching this video till the end okay and guys recently from past one month i am continuously making videos regarding the accenture exam so lot of videos regarding coding as well as on the different topics i have made and they are all present inside this particular playlist that is accenture ultimate aptitude and coding preparation for 2025 batch okay so if you will scroll down in this particular playlist you will find that i have discussed coding questions for 12th august 14th 16th 20th 21st and 23rd august so continuously posting videos regarding accenture hiring and in future i will be posting videos regarding accenture interview also so make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and after watching this video do check out this playlist also and guys do join this telegram group it is for the dedicated for 225 batch students next month tcs nqt is also starting so lot of discussions regarding that exam will also happen in this group only so make sure that you are present in this particular group so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button okay so two questions i will be discussing okay so first question is given an array arr divisor quotient remainder as input formula also is given that dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remind remainder okay so calculate the dividend and check whether the dividend is present in the array or not if present return the index else return one so let's just see with the help of an example so you are first given the length of the array then the different elements of the array then the uh, divisor then quotient and then remainder is given okay so now let's just first calculate the dividend okay so dividend is equal to quotient into divisor so quotient is 1 divisor is 2 plus remainder is 0 so that will give us 2 so now is this dividend present in the array or not so 2 4 6 8 yes this dividend is present in the array so what we will do we will simply return the index of that array index of that element so what is the index of this 2 it is 0 so therefore the index we are returning now if it is not present so in this case let's see so first let's just calculate dividend so dividend is equal to 2 into 4 plus 1 equal to 9 so is 9 present inside this array so the answer is no 9 is not present inside the array so therefore we are returning minus 1 i hope this question is clear to you let's just now quickly jump towards the code part only because there is nothing much sort of an approach it's a very easy question okay so let's just quickly jump towards the code so here what we have so i will be telling you how to take input and output also okay so let's just first take input so where there is a main function inside c++ we will be first taking the length of the array as input then we will be taking all these elements as input that is the array as input then divisor as input then quotient then remainder and we will pass these inputs in the helper function that we have made on our own now inside this helper function what we have we have array we have divisor quotient and remainder and length of the array so what we'll do we will first find out the dividend that is int dividend is equal to using this formula we have find out the dividend now we will check whether the dividend is present in the array or not by simply iterating over the array if at any point the dividend is equivalent to the array we will simply return i we will simply return i that is the index of that particular dividend else if inside the entire array dividend is not present we are simply returning minus 1 okay so let's just simply run this particular code and let's just see if it is running or not so according to me it should give you the correct answer so yeah 2468 return 0 and uh, let's just uh, give 2 4 and 1 so it should give us minus 1 okay so let's just see so yeah minus 1 that is the dividend that is calculated it is not present inside the array so guys this particular question will pass all the given test cases for all of you okay so now let's just move towards the second question before moving ahead do join this telegram group the link you will find in the description box as well as in the uh, pinned comment so this is a dedicated telegram group for 2025 batch students so make sure to join it because lot of discussions regarding accenture and tcs nqt are happening here so guys now let's move towards the second question so second question is you are given an array of length n 
find and print the element at the mid index of the array ignoring all the indices at which negative numbers are present inside the array i know you won't get the question like this so let's just quickly move towards the input so the length of the array is 6 okay so there are both positive and negative uh, elements are present inside this array but what we have to do we have to ignore all the negative elements and okay and now with the remaining positive elements we need to find the mid of that array so we have original array is 1 minus 2 3 minus 4 5 and 6 so we have to ignore the all the negative elements and the remaining positive element that is 1 3 5 6 so these are the positive elements now in these positive elements you need to find the middle element so middle element what it will be so 1 3 5 6 the middle element will be 3 so therefore the output is 3 only so this is the simple question okay so let's just quickly move towards the approach like how we will be solving it okay so approach will be simple so what is the input so 1 minus 2 okay then 3 then minus 4 then 5 then 6 okay so this is the approach so what we'll do now first of all we will calculate how many positive numbers are in the array how many positive numbers are in the array so we will take a variable called count equivalent to zero so we will be iterating this array so first we are at first one is it positive yes it is positive so count will be incremented then we are at this element is it positive yes it is positive so count will be incremented then minus four we have so minus four the count will not be incremented then 5 then 6 the count will be incremented in both these elements so count will become 4 so now we have total 4 elements which are greater than 0 that are positive elements now we will find the mid okay how we will find the mid element okay first of all we have to find the position of the mid element what will be the position of the mid element so mid element is nothing mid element is nothing but count plus 1 divided by 2 okay so this is the mid element i am not talking about the index of the mid element just the mid element divided by 2 that is equivalent to 4 plus 1 5 5 divided by 2 is 2 only okay because we know that 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 5 divided by 2 is also 2 in c plus plus java okay so we have found that this is the second element it means out of all the positive elements the second element is the middle middle element okay so now what we have so we have now this input array and now we know that second positive element is the middle element second positive element is the middle element okay now what we'll do we will again iterate the array so first of all while iterating the array we will check okay is this number positive or negative so this number is positive so but this is the first positive we know that our middle element is the second positive element so this is our first positive element so we will skip it we will move ahead so we are going to minus 2 so is minus 2 positive no it is not positive so we'll move to next element that is 3 so now this 3 is positive and now this 3 is the second positive element and we required the middle element was also as we know second positive so we will simply return 3 from here okay so i hope now this thing is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the code so that things be will become more clear to you okay so again first let's just see how to take the input so two things will be input first is the uh, size of the array and then the array elements so size of the array is n okay elements array elements uh, we will be taking as input and we'll passing the uh, size and array to this helper function okay so helper oh, we have two things as input array and n so first of all we will find how many positive elements are there in the array so we'll simply iterate over the array and we'll simply do count plus plus for every positive element okay so after this loop is over so total positive elements we will have in the array now we, we need to find the middle element okay okay the position of middle element of the required array so how we'll find int mid element equivalent to count plus one divided by two okay count plus one divided by two this we have done now we know that what is the position of the uh, mid element of the required array now again we will iterate over the entire array if our array is if our current element is greater than zero if our current element is greater than zero then it means that it's a positive element okay so what we'll do we will do mid element minus minus simply we will do mid element minus minus so if after doing this operation if our mid element becomes zero then it means that our current element is the required is the required mid element so we are simply returning error of i 
सो इफ आई एक्सप्लेन यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल ओनली सो वी हैव वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री ओके सो वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके वी नो दैट मिड एलिमेंट वॉज कमिंग आउट टू बी मिड एलिमेंट वॉज कमिंग आउट टू बी थ्री डिवाइड बाई थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई टू बिकॉज थ्री पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट वर्ज दिया सो मिड एलिमेंट वॉज सेकेंड पोजिशन सो वंस वी आर एट दिस वन सो वी आर सिंपली डूइंग मिड एलिमेंट माइनस माइनस सो दिस टू विल बिकम वन सो इज आर मिड एलिमेंट जीरो नो वी आर मिड एलिमेंट इज नॉट जीरो नेक्स्ट इज माइनस टू वी आर स्केपिंग दिस माइनस टू नेक्स्ट इज माइनस थ्री वी आर स्केपिंग दिस माइनस थ्री नेक्स्ट इज फोर सो फोर इज अगेन पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट सो वंस इट इज अ पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट वी आर डूइंग मिड एलिमेंट माइनस माइनस सो मिड एलिमेंट माइनस माइनस इज जीरो नाउ इफ द मिड एलिमेंट बिकम जीरो सो वी आर सिंपली रिटर्निंग ए आर आर ऑफ आई वी आर सिंपली रिटर्निंग ए आर आर ऑफ आई सो इफ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लूप वी हैव फाउंड द मिड एलिमेंट वी आर सिंपली रिटर्निंग द करंट एलिमेंट एंड एल्स वी आर रिटर्निंग माइनस वन एल्स वी आर रिटर्निंग माइनस वन सो लेट जस्ट क्विकली रन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो हेयर द आंसर शुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर ओके सॉरी जस्ट अ सेकेंड या हेयर द आंसर शुड कम आउट टू बी फोर लेट मी जस्ट रन री रन इट सो या यू कैन सी द हेयर द एर आंसर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर so this particular code will also pass the entire test cases that will be given to you okay so guys i am i am again telling you continuously making such videos the playlist link i will give in the description box do hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now do join this telegram group the link will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay continuously i will be making more such videos thank you for watching this video